Chag Sameach, Happy Passover. I'm Rabbi Hannah Orden from Congregation Beth HaTikva in Summit, New Jersey. Today I'm coming to you from the beautiful Reeves Reed Arboretum, which has thousands of daffodils all in bloom right now. Passover has two other names. One is Zman Cherotenu, which means the season of our liberation. And the other is Hag Ha'aviv, Festival of Spring. Right now, we might not exactly be, be feeling that this is the season of our liberation, when we're all, all cooped up at home. But as you can see, this is definitely the Festival of Spring. This week, I was struck by the words of Rabbi Michael Strassfeld, who writes about the song Dayenu which means it would have been enough for us. And he says that the song doesn't make any sense. We say, if we had been liberated from Egypt, but the God had not split the sea, Dayenu, that would have been enough for us. And he says, not really, because if we got to the sea and it didn't split, then the chariots of the Pharaoh would have caught up with us and we would have been taken back to slavery in Egypt. Or if the sea had split, but we had not been given the Torah, that would have been enough for us. Again, he says, mm, not really, because it's great to be liberated, but for what? So Michael Strasfeld, Rabbi Strasfeld, decided to create a Dayenu for this time of coronavirus. And he said the real message of this song is that we are to cultivate a sense of enoughness. And to explain enoughness, he uses a verse from Deuteronomy, which says, Ve'achalta v'savata u'v'berachta et Adonai Elohecha. And you shall eat, and you will be satisfied, and you will bless Adonai your God. And Michael Strasfeld explains that being satisfied is not the same thing as physically feeling full that satisfied is a sense that what we have is enough. We may not have everything in our lives that we wished for, that we hoped for, but we are aware of the blessings that we do have. So he, he gives an exam some examples of what this would mean during this time and says, maybe we're not able to be with our family and friends in person, but we're able to connect with them by Zoom, and Dayenu, that will, will be enough. And maybe we are stuck in our homes, but we have homes, Dayenu, and that is enough. And maybe we're sick and isolated from the people that we love, but we are certain of their love, Dayenu, that would be enough. And I would add, maybe we can't go out shopping, but we have enough food in our refrigerators and our cupboards, Dayenu, and that is enough for us. On Sunday, I taught our teen class, and I asked them each to share one thing that was hard and one thing that's been good about this time. And it was only afterwards that I realized that this could actually be um, part of our Dayenu for this time. I didn't put it quite in those terms, but I'm transforming it. So, for example, uh, Maybe we can't be with friends right now, but there's more time, quality time, to be with family. Dayenu, that would be enough. Maybe we can't do the usual activities of sports and you know, going out and doing things, but there's time to bake and have downtime and relax, and that would be enough. So what I want to ask of all of you in the comments section is if you could share your own version of Dayenu for these times, something that's not quite exactly the way we'd like things to be, but we still have blessings. We can have a sense of enough, a sense of that we are, can be satisfied and know that we have blessings in our lives, and we say Dayenu.